here we go. You are packed on a Tuesday. This is The Herd. Wherever you may be and however you may be listening. Live in Los Angeles, iHeartRadio, Fox Sports Radio and FS1. One hour from now, I care too much. It's sort of sad. The Herd hierarchy, top 10 teams in the league. Joy Taylor joining me as always. Good morning. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Sweater weather? It is sweater weather, yes. We are packed today. This is going to be a great show today. I don't think I remember an NFL season this crazy. This wild, 10 teams in the NFC have a playoff possibility still. 10 teams. We got we got a third of the NBA's tanking. One team can win. We got the, the whole NFC's wide open in this thing. And so Minnesota's loss last night's crazy. For the record, breaking news, John D. Filippo, the offensive coordinator for the Vikings, just got fired. Yeah, it's his fault. Yeah, by the way, Philadelphia, go get him for Carson Wentz. So this is funny about last night. There's a reason. Last night was classic Kirk Cousins. He lost the game in prime time and ends up with garbage yards at the end. And this is why I say you got to watch the games. Last night, I said this to my wife. I said, man, this is, this is, this is boring. Well, why do you keep watching it? I said, because you got to watch the games. Don't pay attention to stats. There have been years that if you didn't watch Andy Dalton, you looked at his box score, you're like, whoo, he's a pro bowler. Jacksonville gave Blake Bortles. Whoa, Blake. Did you watch Blake Bortles? Last night is the difference between Russell Wilson and Kirk Cousins. Neither played well. In fact, Russell had a terrible interception. But Russell Wilson always makes the play in the game. And that was an equally huge game for both teams. Kirk Cousins never makes the play. Neither played great. But one made a great play. Russell Wilson scrambles right there, down the sideline. That changed everything. Quarterbacks don't play well every weekend. Peyton Manning didn't. Brady doesn't. Breeze had a stinker against the Cowboys. But do you make the play? The NBA is littered with guys like Zach Levine, who scored 24 a night, and you won't remember three baskets when he's done. Blake Griffin, 26 a night. An endless highlight reel. Has he ever hit a big shot? Russell Wilson right now is behind Matt Ryan. He's 11th in fantasy football quarterback points. He's behind Matt Ryan, who's on a five-game losing streak and never makes the play. He's behind Cam Newton, also on a five-game losing streak. I say this. Judge a person on a bad day. That's who they are. Every parent's in a good mood when little Johnny hits the game-winning Little League home run. But what about when little Johnny goes 0 for 3 and the umpire hosed him? How's dad act then? Because that's who dad is. Russell Wilson put up a stinker last night. Had the worst interception of the season. The craziest, goofiest, awful throw of the year. But he made the play. Kirk Cousins is now 4-13 and 13 in primetime games. Russell Wilson is 21-5. and five. Russell Wilson wins 60% of his road games. Kirk Cousins wins 36% of them. But if you looked at the box score last night, Kirk Cousins, oh, 20-33, over 200 yards, touchdown, no picks, 90 passer rating. If you look at the box score, Russell Wilson, 10 for 20, 72 yards, no TDs, a pick, and a passer rating of 37. Tell my wife, I got to watch these games. And last night's why you got to watch the games. By the way, Minnesota, I don't want to hear about officiating. Okay, you're the only team in the league that through 13 games, you could make 13 a round number. You're 6-6-1. Six, six, and one. You define average. You got two world-class receivers, excellent defense, and you couldn't score till garbage time. I don't want to hear about officiating. You got a gift call against the Packers and Clay Matthews earlier this year, and true to form, you couldn't even win that game. You tied it. Watch the games. That was a great classic Russell Wilson game because he stunk, had a terrible pick, but unlike Cousins, made the play. And let me segue to another guy that a lot of people criticize, myself included, but he oftentimes wins close games, Dak Prescott. So I want to remind everybody, as we shift the DAC talk, that Kirk Cousins was the best free agent quarterback on the market this year. 
easily <laughs> was actually outside of maybe uh you know like a like a Peyton Manning the best available quarterback in years and Peyton by the way would never have left if Andrew Luck was not going to get drafted if Andrew Luck was not available out of college the best quarterback out of college since John Elway the Colts would have kept Peyton Manning they wouldn't have moved him yeah Kirk Cousins was the gem of the free agent class he has two and a half more years in his contract with the Vikings at $28 million a year. If Minnesota could get out of that contract on the flight home, they would have last night. They'd get out of that thing tomorrow if they could, and they can't. So if you have any doubts about Dak Prescott, let me remind you, and I have been critical of him, he does give you four things which are really important things in 2018. Stability at the position. You don't want to be Jacksonville. They've got stability at the position. He's mobile in an era where I do want my quarterbacks. I like him to move around a little. Number three, he has incredible leadership qualities. And number four, this is weird, but um, he wins a lot of close games. I think he's limited too. I've said before, if you're going to sign him, it better be 18 to 21 million. He needs a lot of help. But college football only gives you about one to two quarterbacks a year. And it should be noted, Dallas doesn't have a first round pick next year. Dak has the leverage of scarcity. There's not many quarterbacks out there. And as I'm watching Kirk Cousins last night, I'm thinking about Dak, and I'm thinking Kirk Cousins, he was the gem of the quarterback free agent class. <laughs> he cannot win a close game. He cannot win a primetime game. Jerry Jones was on Dallas radio this morning, and he knows Dak better than all of us, and he said, Dak, you ever notice how often he wins big games? The thing you got to remember about Dak, he's so well prepared. I don't know we've had a player that is as focused on the game plan or focused on what he's being told in the classroom. He takes it to the practice field. I can't emphasize enough that uh, you hang around and you hang through a mistake on a given play and you're going to have something good happen. And that's the way I feel about Dak. I think that was somebody playing Jerry Jones. It sounded almost too much like Jerry Jones. But he's right. So in review, in my first segment today, Russell Wilson played lousy, but I love him because he makes the play. And Dak Prescott, in my opinion, is an average quarterback talent. But man, he makes plays in big games, offers stability, can move around a little bit, and has incredible leadership qualities. Do not forget, Kirk Cousins was the gem of the free agent class. <laughs> okay, just, just don't.